We have a developing story, a breaking news story tonight. A major earthquake has hit Haiti, magnitude 7.0. The Haitian capital is largely in ruins. That's the latest uh, that we're getting. The extent of the disaster remains unclear, but there are fears thousands of people may have died and tens of thousands lost their homes. In the capital, Port-au-Prince, a city of two million people, thousands of buildings were damaged or destroyed, including hospitals, schools, and hotels. And there are reports that some buildings have collapsed with people buried underneath. Seth Doan begins our coverage tonight. Earthquake rocked this impoverished Caribbean nation late this afternoon. The earthquake. It's something that I will never forget. I thought uh, I lost mom, sister, dad, friends. It's the end of all. It's what I thought. I am Emile Diandine, a student of Elie Dubois, a student, a student of senior of Elie Dubois. This is Mr. Dubois, the face of the school. Beautiful face. As you can see, there's many changes in the building. Before the earthquake, it wasn't the same thing. It was a beautiful place where you can sleep, you can study a lesson like I did it before. <laughs> After the earthquake, the building know many changes by the earthquake. Good morning, I'm Santina from the Wesley School. Hi, my name is Ellie from the Pegasus School. My name is George and we are from Barton County Special Services. This is Westmount Charter School in Canada. Student Rebuild is a project who is helping me to rebuild my school. It was a conference between uh, students in Haiti and students in America. It was very good. My name is Megan and our question is, what is a typical school day like? Comme tu as commencé à côté nous lever bonheur pour nous faire passer l'école la fin entre à 7h30 nous monter drapeau à 7h45 et puis après ça nous entrer dans classe de fin quand il y a cours 7h Bonjour moi c'est Jean-Paul Joslug moi ta me connaît le nous t'a regarder dans télé ou bien et dans et sur internet qui gens et catastrophe 12 janvier a écrasé Haïti qui gens nous t'ai senti nous l'en t'a regarder toute bagaille ça I felt so sad for all the people that had lost all their belongings and loved ones and I was uh, very sad and I felt like I needed to help as much as I could. Well, I can say on behalf of our class that we were all really deeply affected by the images from Haiti and we felt fortunate that um, we didn't have to go through the same things but at the same time we felt a deep compassion for the people that were there. And we really want to help like aid Haiti in with the construction of new schools and other structures. And it would really like mean a lot to us to help you. I felt good when I listened the uh, students who is helping me to rebuild my school say they think of Haiti and they were they were sad at the moment of the earthquake. I wasn't, I didn't know that. It's a new news for me and I feel good to, 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 near that, to hear that. I was just wondering how the living conditions in Haiti um, affected your school life. And um, how do you keep your uniforms in such good shape? Because you guys really look great. <laughs> Nous sommes un peuple qui est très courageux. Ça veut dire même si on tremble de terre passé, nous, je n'en pile, ça a détruit nous en pile, mais ça n'a pas affecté nous trop parce que nous avons courage. Nous avancer et nous avons. Ça vient de nous plus de détermination pour nous avancer vers l'avant. Ça veut dire même si on a un uniforme, nous avons un pile, nous après tremblement qui perdu un uniforme, nous avons crasé, mais nous avons continué parce que ça va pas camper nous vivre.
La vie pas finie. Merci. Merci. Funerary Bill, in conjunction with the Bezos Family Foundation, Global Nomads, and with Architecture for Humanity, they're working together to raise money to build better, stronger schools in Haiti, and our students get to be a part of that. Here's the other one I want you guys to think about, that there's some kind of communications that seem universal, right? Nobody had to translate the laughter or the nodding yes or no. So those are, there's a lot of communication that, even though we don't speak the same language, Inherently, there's certain things that are the same no matter who you are or where you're from. And so that in mind will help us to help them. You know, it's just, they're just like us. Going in, I really did not know a whole lot about Haiti. And I kind of felt I fit that whole ignorant American stereotype. And I was kind of didn't like that. So I was looking forward to learning a lot. And I, I think I did. What stood out is when they explained that their schools were still sometimes set up as just like tarps for walls how they still don't have uh, buildings that they can actually go to. I couldn't believe that it, it was all still there, and I guess that's when I realized how much Haiti needed everyone else's help just to clean up after the earthquake. We can talk more next week. But my guess, my first thought is, anybody interested in a Split the Pot fundraiser for Saturday? This week, Saturday. I would do it Okay, yeah, it wouldn't have to be. If you our goal is to raise at least $2,500 and so we had our first fundraising effort at a league volleyball tournament. We had a split the pot where we sold chances or raffle tickets. Everybody contributed money and then we just split it in half with the winner. Want to donate a dollar to Haiti. It's a dollar per ticket, six tickets for five dollars. We have change, dude. We have change. We don't have change for a hundred. You can get us a tell. One ticket for this man. We raised $216, and the young man who won got $108, and actually turned right around and gave 50% or half of the money back to us because he said Haiti students were a good cause, and he didn't need that much money in his wallet. So I, it was a real positive experience. It's just always been that way. Ever since I was young, living in Kansas, if somebody was, if there's a need, somebody comes to fill it. We're, we're working on the creating a report, re recommendation whether the school should be repaired, um, should be built, how to do it, what construction type. So uh, Thursday we went to two schools and then we're scheduled to go to at least one more um, on Tuesday. My name is Stacy McMahon. I'm a design fellow with Architecture for Humanity and I'm here in Haiti you know, rebuilding schools. Okay, so, so you've done... Yeah. Um, students Rebuild Program is connecting students in the U.S. and Canada with students in Haiti. And the students in the U.S. and Canada are fundraising to rebuild schools here in Haiti. We take that fundraising money and we do the construction documents, find the contractors, and then put the grant money towards construction. Well, straight ahead is a historic building that Eastbound the um, preservation component of the Haitian government has stamped his Batimat Historique. Um, and they're saying that this is a historic building and should be saved if possible. But it doesn't mean it has to be saved. It's not, it's, it doesn't have structural integrity anymore after the earthquake and, and it needs to be demolished. The, the two main classroom buildings on the L.A. Dubois campus can't be inhabited. They're not safe to inhabit and need to be repaired. So there's no classroom space that they can use on campus. So they're at Collage Saint-Pierre, which is nearby. It's in the downtown area. Um, and there are transitional classrooms built there. That's where they've been going to school all year. Yeah. 
What do you do every day to help overcome the emotional and physical trauma there in Haiti brought by the earthquake? Thank you. Donc c'est c'est vraiment dur, vraiment vraiment dur. Même si on est en psycho, il dit et que pourtant des musiques, mais ou même il faut assez non pour le sortir. Être un Américain, c'est quoi pour vous? Sur quoi se base votre fierté étant ami étant Américain? To me, being an American is to share um, culture and customs with um, many different backgrounds and um, coming together as one community. My question is, is there anything that you grabbed or ran to when you felt the earthquake? Thank you. Bon, let's have a moment to là. Ça me dit de dire, oh Jésus, on va quitter de mourir, moi c'est la fin du monde. On va nous foutre de péché, nous yo, bye. What part of your culture would you like to share with the rest of your world? And white. Here we go, come with me. There's a world out there that we share. Can you see? In Haiti, life is very hard. For a student to study from three old to, to 18, it's with the up to become someone, someone special in the society tomorrow. But after earthquake, well, the situation become very bad. Where well, people do find money to study those kind of things. It's my house where I'm living after the earthquake. Before the earthquake, I had my house where I'm living in peace. After the earthquake, I'm living here. You see the situation after the African people before become poor, and it's my way. My mom and my cousin, <laughs> my heart, my heart. <laughs> As you can see, you can see a, excuse me, a house in what we call Prela. Please come in. <laughs> As you can see, it is very, very dusty, but it's unbelievable. I sleep here. My, my books. <laughs> my books, I study, I used to study like that every night. <laughs> Sometimes I don't sleep for studying my lesson <laughs> because I have to be successful. And even the young people who are studying, il est toujours sous ça, deux voiles toujours, tout côté le passé, professeur toujours, pour me passer misère avec courage, parce que je connais avec intelligence, il la plus levé ma terre. I'd like to be a, a doctor. Be a doctor is very useful for a society. It's my, my dream, but I, I'd like to, to learn a lot of things to help my country, to help other people who need my help. We are nearing the end of our Students Rebuild project. Uh, we have done four fundraisers, and this was our fifth one today. Thank you. And, and another one. What did it say? That's who this fundraiser is for, to help rebuild better, stronger, safer schools in Haiti. So far, our school has raised about a thousand dollars with uh, today's earnings. We plan on doing a couple more, like the 
of the ice cream fundraisers at other schools, and then I think we will be done fundraising. The other day we went to Saint Pierre and we presented the like the master plan and what what we've been thinking about for renovation new buildings to the Ellie Dubois girls. Yeah, okay, so and then what we want to do is put some landscaping in here to make this a very nice avenue. <laughs> they loved it. They, they thought it was great, but the plans are, you know, they're not final, but they're getting further along and we're getting to more and more detail. So it was good to hear their comments. I think this, the students in the U.S. and Canada that are engaged in this process, it's an experience of being able to make a difference in a situation where it seems really hard to make a difference. And so the next thing that comes along that, you know, inside is saying, well, you should do something about this or you, or you should help. You know, it, it gives them a, a past success that they can just, they can build on it. And some will, I'm sure, will continue doing that. I think that the, the video conference had this, an impact on our students in that we saw you know, we saw the pictures of the destruction and the demolition and those kids were positive and happy and I think it's a gift back for you know it's something a real le life lesson for our kids to learn is how in the face of all this destruction and living in a tent or not living in a tent but just everything you know kind of crumbling around you to still be able to smile and say you have hope and be positive of what's going on I think that's a real reward for our kids. We'd just like to thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to speak to you, getting a view into the lives of a, or a whole different school life of someone else that's on the other side of the world. It's, it's fascinating and we'd like to thank you for it. I think this video conference has helped all of us learn more about what's going on in Haiti and how we can help with any kind of natural disaster that happens anywhere in the world. I thought this experience was one of the most amazing ones that I've had in all of my high school career. The fact that we got to raise money for a country and not only get to talk to the people but feel as if we were helping them on our own. Um, just the fact that we got to talk to them made it more real and that much more special. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing your life with us. Some people would, uh, would, uh, would only take care of, uh, of their own problem, but you, you, uh, you, uh, you are still studying, you have your, your, your lessons, you, you, don't, you don't work, but you, you, you give importance to, to the Asian. <laughs> okay, you are unforgettable, unforgettable, really, really, we will never forget you. This is for George from Barton County. I'd like to thank you for your time being able to compare cultures. It's been a lot of fun. And we'd like to say something. Merci. 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 Bye. 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 I'm going to show you my songs I write. Si rebelle que je sois, apprivoise-moi, délivre-moi des doutes qui marcèrent. Au vague de la mer qui se gonfle, sans aller plus loin qu'au rivage, je suis comparable, aide-moi Seigneur à ne plus douter. Aide-moi, ô oh cher Seigneur, à ne plus douter. You know, when I write song, I write song to, to express love, to express everything, a lot of feeling. Because, you know, after the earthquake, we don't, we don't have a house. We are living here in a situation. <laughs> Sometimes I cry and sometimes I feel I, I stay, I don't cry because I don't have to cry all the day. I have to, to keep silent and to get uh, strong. The difficulty comes just to, to make you stronger. I have to continue and to, and to get my life. I don't have to pass all the day crying. <laughs>